let's get started. This is my detailed version of the crochet house slipper. Here are some quick references to shoe size charts that give you inches and centimeters to the shoe size, so I hope it helps you better determine how big to make your slipper. I will be showing you four widths, narrow, regular, wide, and an extra wide. All the slippers on the top row were done with a bulky or super bulky yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. The slippers on the bottom with the same pattern of width was done in a medium weight yarn using a four millimeter hook. Remember, the length of these slippers are all adjustable. You can make them shorter or longer. The wider you go, the larger the opening around the ankle. For this project, you will need the four or six millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, measuring tape, and a darning needle. For the bulky yarn, I used a number five bulky yarn. You will need about 100 grams or three and a half ounces for one slipper. We will start with the regular width. I will make this portion very detailed, and then I'll just have a summary of how you can adjust these to make other widths. So this is a great little house slipper that is crocheted. You can make it any length you would like. So this one here being the regular width we will make, I have adjusted with a new back portion or heel, how I've come up here as a point, and then you will see that you don't have as many ends to tie in. So my finished slipper is about nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters in length. Refer back to the chart to be sure you make the correct size. So the width of this is seven across. So seven front post double crochet along the top and it gives about a four inch width or 10 centimeter. For these slippers here, I used a super bulky number six yarn. The slipper on the left was with a number five bulky. Both were made with a six millimeter crochet hook. These were made with the exact stitch count. You can see how the one just came out a little bit bigger. Another way to adjust this size is to use a number four medium weight yarn. And I did this with a four millimeter crochet hook. This again is the exact same pattern. You can see how you will have to adjust some of your length in the toe portion to get your correct size depending on what yarn you're using and what hook. To get the small slipper with a bulky yarn, refer to the narrow version and that way you can see how it'll be sized up as well. The yellow one here is the narrow version with just six front post double crochet across the front and less stitches on the side. The smaller weight yarn gave me a finish of about seven inches or 18 centimeters. And the width about three inches or eight centimeters. Your length can always be adjusted. So for the first part, the toe portion, you can always make this part a little bit shorter. Or you can make it longer by adjusting in this section here. Okay, let's get crocheting. Let's start with a magic circle. Create a loop. Then you can just insert your hook under that one portion, lift it up, and do a chain one. This is one of the most simple ways to make your magic ring or magic circle. We will then start by doing double crochet, and we're gonna put 13 double crochet into this circle.
We will then slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. So slip stitch right in there. Pull snug. We will weave the end in later. For round two, we will start with a chain one, and then we're going to put two double crochet in each stitch. Let's start in that very first stitch. There's one double crochet and two. Going into the next stitch, two double crochet. There's one and two. Continue this all the way around. This is our last space here with two double crochet. And again, we will slip stitch to join in the top of our first double crochet. So this round here will equal 26 stitches. We will now start the main pattern. Start with the chain one. We will now do our front post double crochet yarn over and going around that double crochet from the round below, we're going to go behind it. So behind the post. So that brings the post forward, which is why it's called a front post. We can then yarn over. Pull up the loop, we will yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two, completing our double crochet. Our chain one on the side right here will not count as a stitch. That is our first stitch. So we will do seven front post, double crochet. This will be the top of our slipper. We will then do back post double crochet. Yarning over, going from behind, we will go around the post. This brings the post to the back. Going around the post, then draw up a loop, bring it all the way up. You will yarn over and go through two, and yarn over, go through two. That is a back post double crochet. Let's do three in total. This is part of the side of the slipper. So now we will do three front post double crochet. For the bottom of the slipper, we will do seven back post double crochet.
working along the side, three front post double crochet, and then we will do three back post double crochet. We will then slip stitch to join in the top of the very first double crochet. So right in the first one. So that is round three and we're going to repeat this round three until we have our correct length for our toe. So for each row we will start with the chain one and then the pattern is written on the top here. So let's do one more round together. So seven front post, double crochet. And these are going around the seven front post from the round below. Working on the sides, three back post. So we're going around the ones from the back post from the round below. Three front post double crochet. Seven back post double crochet for the bottom of the slipper. And finishing the side with three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet. Finish each row with a slip stitch to join. And starting with the chain one. So now we can continue along with this pattern. You should have a good idea how to do it now. At this point, we can turn our work inside out and just weave in the beginning yarn. So with your darning needle, make sure you pull your magic circle snug and then just Put your ends in and out to weave. So let's just repeat this pattern until we have reached the correct length for your foot size. So I finished after 12 rounds. My measurement was about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters. Your toe should look like this, this being the top of the slipper and then having the sides and then the bottom of the slipper. You can see these rounds are easy to count. 
So starting at the bottom, here's row one. And then row two is right here, that one here. So then you go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once you have reached your correct length, we will now start with the sides. We will put our sides in rows. This will be row one. So do not chain. We are just going to turn our work. And working from the back side or the inside of the slipper, we're just going to slip stitch over one stitch. This kind of puts us in line right here at the top of this double crochet. We will chain two. This will count as our first double crochet. We're then going to follow this with two front post double crochet. We will now do three back post double crochet. This is the side of the slipper. Moving to the sole of the slipper, we will now do seven front post double crochet. At this point, if you're doing a wider version of slipper, this number will be different. We can then do three back post double crochet. And then three front post double crochet to finish row one. This is the top part that we will come back to later. We will finish here. For row two, we're gonna start with a chain two. Again, this will count as the first double crochet and then we will turn. So now for this round, we're gonna start with two back post double crochet. And now three front post double crochet. Follow this with seven back post double crochet.
three front post double crochet. and three back post double crochet. So the first two are pretty easy. We're going around the double crochets from the round below in the next one. And the last back post double crochet, we're gonna go around the chain two, so right on here. So still do the back post around that chain two. And now you have row two. So here we have one and row two. We're now going to repeat row one. So for row three, a repeat of row one. Chain two and turn. This counts as your first double crochet. Just follow the pattern as written above. I will meet you at the end of the row. And here we are just finishing with our three front post double crochet and the last one going around that chain to finish row three. Starting with the chain two and turn, we're gonna do row four. Row four will be a repeat of row two. Follow the pattern above and I'll meet you at the end. You can see your rows on the side where we have one, two, three, four, and we'll be doing one more. So row five will be a repeat of row one. You should now have five rows, one, two, three, four, and five. We will now start closing it off with the heel. So the heel will come out probably a little bit longer, a couple more rows to close that off and around. If you think you need to have this portion longer, you can add two more rows here if needed. By adding two more rows, you're actually creating a little bit of a larger hole as well for the ankle part. You should finish your rows here. So let's just start now with row six. We're going to start with the chain two and turn. We will then do two back post double crochet. Follow this with one front post double crochet. We're now going to do a decrease. We're going to do a front post double crochet decrease. So going around the first post, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to stop. Then we're going to start going around the next post yarn over, go around the second post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and stop. We will then yarn over and pull through all three. We have just put those two posts into one. We're calling that a front post double crochet decrease. So now we've made three into two. For the next section, we're going to make these seven stitches here decrease to five. So we're going to start with the back post double crochet decrease. Going around the first one and stopping. Going around the second one. Yarn over, go through two, stop. Yarn over, go through all three. So that's one decrease. 
then do three back post double crochet. So this is number two and number three. And the next one will be a back post double crochet decrease. So putting the next two stitches here into one. Going around the first one and around the second one. Let's try that again. Yarn over, go through all three on the hook. And now we have had those seven stitches into five. One, two, three, four, and five. We will then do a front post double crochet decrease. And then a front post double crochet. And if you look, this will match the other side. And to finish this row, we're going to do three back post double crochet. For row seven, we'll start with the chain two and turn. We're now going to go two front post double crochet. And then two back post double crochet. You'll see we only have two here now. We are now going to decrease our five stitches to three stitches. Let's start with the front post double crochet decrease. So going around the first one and then the second one. And then continue with a front post double crochet. And then another front post double crochet decrease. You can now see the five are now three. Continue with two back post double crochet. And then three front post double crochet. You can now see how the heel is starting to take shape. For row eight, we're going to start with a chain two and turn. We will do two back post double crochet. We will now do a decrease. So let's do these two stitches with a front post double crochet decrease. Three 
three back post double crochet A front post double crochet decrease. And finish this row with three back post double crochet. Row 9, we'll start with a chain 2 and turn. Let's start with 2 front post double crochet. Then 1 back post double crochet. And now we're going to put three front posts together. So we're going to call this a three front post double crochet decrease. We're going to go around the first post, stop. Then we're going to go around the second one, going through two and stopping. And now we're going to go through the third, just going through two and stopping. And now we're going to yarn over and go through all four. We have just decreased these three stitches to one. We'll then do a back post double crochet and three front post double crochet. For row 10, do not chain one, just turn. We're then going to do one front post double crochet decrease. We're going to take these two stitches here and bring them together to make one. So around that first post, then we're going to go all the way over to the other one. Yarning over, pull through two, and we're going to bring that together for one stitch. We're going to finish this round by putting a slip stitch in the top of the second chain. So finding the top part of that second chain right there, let's slip stitch to join. This has now brought the heel all the way together and has made its shape. We can now start crocheting around the ankle part. We will find the end of each row. So at the end of each row, you will see how when we made the turn that we can go around that portion. So in there and around there. So you just kind of have to pull it up to find out where you're going to go around. So let's start where we left off. We're going to start with the chain one and from now on it everything will be front post double crochet. Our first front post is going to be around this stitch here. So not this one right beside but right here. So just find that space there. So let's do our first front post double crochet. And we're going to do eight of them. So there's one, and then just finding the next row. Here we have two, three, 
three. And four. This will be five. Six. Seven. And this one here is number eight. The next one is kind of like a corner. So we're gonna put those two together. So we're just gonna go around both of them because it's like a corner one. So here we will have our one corner double crochet. This is how it should look so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the corner. We will now do our seven double crochet along the front of the slipper. So remember, we're not doing that little chain one there. Don't do that, just the seven double crochet on the front. If you are doing the wide or extra wide version, this is exactly the same stitches on the side, but you will have more across the front or top of the slipper. You will then see the next corner. So if you look at it, it's kind of like almost two stitches are there. We're gonna go around both of it. So just around all of that on the corner. And then we will have eight more double crochet until we reach back to the heel. And here is number eight. And now we will just do a one center double crochet. So around that center one here, we're gonna do one front post double crochet. So around the center. and then we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet that we started. We will now do each row with front double crochet. So each round will be 26 stitches. We will start with the chain one and then go around that first double crochet. So keep going all the way around. Each row will be 26 stitches. So you're just gonna go around the one from the round below.
Your last front post double crochet will always be in the center back. So this one here is stitch 26. And then always slip stitch to join. And start with the chain one. You can now make this ankle part or cuff as high as you would like. On this slipper here, I did a different color for the cuff. This is the regular width slipper, so the same amount of stitches. And then I just changed my color up, added a different one just for a variation, and I made a lot of different rows so I could roll it down. You'll find though, the more rows you go, it kind of does a little bit of a twist. So it looks like it kind of goes up at an angle. So you're not gonna really wanna go much higher than this. And then if you roll it down, it has such a unique design and pattern to it that it just becomes a beautiful slipper. For this particular slipper, I did a few extra rows as well to make it higher. But on the very last row, I decided to do a reverse single crochet at the top. You can see here in this extra little video at the top, this is how you do the reverse single crochet. And then when you roll it down, it gives a tiny little cuff. Another variation and so cute. Once you've determined how high you'd like your slipper, you can just cut your yarn and pull through. We will then join with an invisible stitch and weave in your end. With your darning needle, we're going to take our end and we're going to put it into our top of our first double crochet. So we're going to go from the front to the back and then we're going to go back into that last stitch we made just into the back section, then grabbing some yarn from inside the slipper. So we've kind of made like an extra stitch in there, but it, it ties it off really nicely on the top and then you can just weave your end in and cut the yarn. The wide width. You'll see when we do the wide width, on the regular width we have seven front double crochets across the top. On the wide one we have eight. This will give it two stitches more all the way around. For this slipper I used a number five bulky yarn and it takes about 100 grams or three and a half ounces for one slipper. The slipper on the left was done with a 6mm hook and a bulky yarn and the slipper on the right is done with a 4mm hook and a medium weight yarn. This slipper can be made any length. Let's start with the magic circle. Chain 1 and let's do 7 single crochet inside of our circle. Pull snug and slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet.
For round two, let's chain one and we're going to put a double crochet in that very first stitch. We will then put another double crochet in the same stitch. So we will have two double crochet in each stitch. Continue this all the way around and you will have 14 stitches. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet and chain one to begin round three. Again, we will put two double crochet in each stitch, starting in the very first stitch, two double crochet, and repeat this all the way around and you will have 28 stitches. For round four, we will start with the chain one, and now we will do our front post double crochet. So going around that very first one, we will put eight front post double crochet. Remember, if you don't know how to do this, refer back to the regular width where I do detailed step-by-step -step instructions. This will be the top of our slipper. To continue on the side, we will do three back post double crochet, followed by three front post double crochet. Then for the bottom of the slipper, eight back post double crochet. then three front post double crochet, and finishing with three back post double crochet. Remember to weave in your beginning yarn. Repeat round four until you have your desired length. Once you have your right length, we will continue from here with the sides. Refer back to the regular width on how to do the side part. The only difference will be it will be one extra stitch in this section here. After five rows, come back here to start round six. You should now have your five rows complete. We can now continue with the heel. Chain two and turn. Two back post double crochet.
We will then do one front post double crochet and then a front post double crochet decrease. We will then take the next eight stitches and we will make it into six stitches. Starting with the back post, double crochet, decrease. And then four back post double crochet. And then we will do another back post double crochet decrease. And you will now see that you have six stitches. Front post double crochet decrease. And a front post double crochet. And finishing row six with three back post double crochet. Row 7, we'll start with a chain 2 and turn. We will then have 2 front post double crochet. Two back post double crochet. And then we will do three front post double crochet decrease. So we will take six and put it to three stitches. two back post double crochet, and then three front post double crochet. Row eight, chain two, turn. We will start with two back post double crochet. Then we will do a front post double crochet decrease. So these two will go into one. And then three back post double crochet. Front post double crochet decrease. And finishing row eight with three back post double crochet. Row nine, we'll start with a chain two and turn. Let's do two front post double crochet. Then we will have a back post double crochet. Then we will put three front post double crochet decrease. So all three will go into one. Going around the first, 
around the second and around the third and yarning over going through all four loops on the hook and we've just made three go into one. Finishing row nine with the back post double crochet and three front post double crochet. For our last row, do not chain, just turn. We will then do one front post double crochet decrease. So one around this stitch and bringing it together with this stitch and joining together for the decrease. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. You can now go back to about the 35 minute part of the video to do the ankle portion of this slipper. Remember, the only difference is going to be you will have an extra stitch on the top. So this section here, you will have the extra stitch. Extra wide width. This is the extra wide. Compared to the regular that has seven front post double crochet across the top, this has 10. So it actually has six more stitches, three on the top and three on the bottom for width. The sides are exactly the same. With the wider width, you will also get a wider ankle. Compared to the regular, which is about four inches or 10 centimeters across the top, the wide one is gonna be almost five inches or 13 centimeters. If you use a number four medium weight yarn, the slipper will come out smaller. Let's start with the magic circle. We can then chain one and do eight single crochet in the circle. Pull snug and slip stitch to join. For round two, we will start with the chain one and we're gonna go two double crochet in each stitch. Again, slip stitch to join, and let's start round three. We'll start with the chain one, and again, we're gonna put two double crochet in each stitch. This round should have 32 stitches when you are done. slip stitch to join and we'll be ready to start round four. Round four, we're gonna start with the chain one. We will now do 10 front post double crochet. Remember to refer back to the regular width if you need this slowed down. This will be the top of our slipper. 
we will then continue with three back post double crochet and then three front post double crochet for the sides. And now 10 back post double crochet for the bottom of the slipper. Three front post double crochet, and then three back post double crochet. always slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet and now we're going to repeat these rounds for rounds 5 to 14 or for however long you want to make your slipper. My slipper measured about 6 to 7 inches which is about 16 to 18 centimeters. You can see here that I did 14 rows. One, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. You can always make these longer or shorter if needed. We can now do the sides. Refer to the regular pattern to do these five rows. Go to about the 17 minute mark of this video to do your five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Again, you can always make two more rows if needed. Remember to come back to this point to do row six. The only adjustment you would have had to make on this would just be extra stitches along the bottom. So after you know how long this is going to be, make sure you stop at this side here. I only did the five rows, so now we're going to start with row six. Let's start with the chain two and turn. We will start with two back post double crochet. We will then do a front post double crochet and then we will do a front post double crochet decrease, so putting two together. Along the bottom, we will have 10 stitches go into 5 stitches, so we're going to do 5 back post double crochet decrease. You should now have 5 stitches instead of 10. 
We will then do a front post double crochet decrease. And you can see this matches up to the other side. And then a front post double crochet. And three back post double crochet. Row seven, we'll start with a chain two and turn. We will start with two front post double crochet. And now two back post double crochet. And now we're going to decrease these five stitches to three. So we'll start with the front post double crochet decrease. Follow this with just a front post double crochet. There's your decrease. And now a front post double crochet. And another front post double crochet decrease. So now you have one, two, three stitches. Let's do two back post double crochet and finish the row with three front post double crochet. You can now see how the heel is starting to form. Let's do row eight, start with the chain two and turn. We will start with two back post double crochet. Then we will do a front post double crochet decrease. And now three back post double crochet. Another front post double crochet decrease. And finishing with three back post double crochet. Row nine, we'll start with a chain two and turn. Let's start with two front post double crochet. One back post double crochet. And now we're gonna do a three front post double crochet decrease. So going into the first one, stopping around the second post and stop, and then around the third one and stop. And then we're gonna yarn over, go through all four. We've now put three stitches into one. Follow this by a back post double crochet and then three front post double crochet.
for row 10, do not chain, just turn. We will now do one front post double crochet decrease. So going around one, and then around to the next one, and finish the stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch to join. If you look for that chain two, it'll be the top of the chain two, this one here. Slip stitch to join. We can now start doing around the ankle. Go to the regular width pattern at about the 35 minute point and you can see how to finish off for these for the ankle portion. You can make this as high as you would like. The only difference will be you will have 29 stitches in each round. Narrow width. This width is great to make children's size slippers. This one here is with the bulky yarn. I used this yarn here, which is a number five bulky. I actually got a complete set out of the 100 gram ball. This narrow version is different. It has six front post double crochet along the top, but on the sides, we're just going to have two stitches and two stitches, and then another six along the bottom. So a little bit different. As you can see, if you take the number four medium weight yarn, how much smaller these little slippers will become. Using the bulky yarn, they were about seven inches long or 18 centimeters. And again, you can make it longer or shorter if you would like. And then with the medium weight yarn, they were about five inches or 13 centimeters. As you can see here for the width, they're only gonna be about, oh, it looks like about three inches maybe. Which is eight centimeters. And the little one is about two inches wide, maybe two and a half. So let's start with a magic circle. Let's do 10 double crochet in the circle. Pull snug and slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. So round one will be 10 stitches. We're gonna chain one, and we're gonna do two double crochet in each stitch, starting in that very first stitch. You will have 20 stitches in this round. Again, we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. Chain one, and we will start with our front post double crochet. Starting in the first double crochet, let's do six front post double crochet. If you need some help with this for a slowed down version, go back to the regular width to see how it is done. This will be the top of our slipper. We will now do two back post double crochet. And now two front post double crochet.
Now six, back post, double crochet. Finishing the side, we'll do two front post double crochet and two back post double crochet. We're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the very first double crochet. Repeat this pattern for rounds four to 10, or however long you'd like to make that slipper. Remember to weave in your starting yarn. I have 10 rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do the sides. Do not chain and turn your work. From the inside of the slipper, we're just going to slip stitch over one stitch. We will then chain two. This counts as your first double crochet. We will then do a front post double crochet and then two back post double crochet. Then six front post double crochet. two back post double crochet, and two front post double crochet. This is row one. For row two, we'll start with a chain two and turn. We will then do a back post double crochet, then two front post double crochet, six back post double crochet. two front post double crochet, and two back post double crochet, one around the stitch and one around the chain two. For row three, we're gonna repeat row one. So let's start this with the chain two and turn. We will then do a front post double crochet, two back post double crochet, and 
and then six front post double crochet. Finishing the row with two back post double crochet. And two front post double crochet. One around the post and one around the chain two. For this slipper, we are going to stop with just three rows. We will do a couple more, but that will be the heel that shapes up and around. So let's do row four, chain two and turn. We will start with the back post double crochet. We're then going to do a decrease. So this is putting these two together, going around the first post and stopping around the second post, going through two stop, Yarn over, pull through all three, and this is your decrease. Let's do three back post double crochet decrease. So we're going to have six stitches go into three. That's one back post decrease. Two, and three. So six is now three. We'll then do another front post double crochet decrease. Try this again. So those two together, so around the first one, stop, around the second one, stop, and yarn over through three. And then finishing with the two back post double crochet. For row five, we'll do a chain two and turn. We will then start with one front post double crochet, then one back post double crochet, we will then do a three front post double crochet decrease. So we're going to put all three into one, going around the first post and around the second post, always stopping halfway through the stitch and around the third. We're going to yarn over and go through all four. We have done these three stitches to one. We will then do a back post double crochet and two front post double crochet. Starting with row six, we're just going to turn. Do not chain. We will then do a front post double crochet decrease. So going around this first one here, and then around the next one, and we're going to put those together. And now we will slip stitch to join. So in that chain two space here, or sorry, into the chain two, we're going to go into the top of that chain two. So right in there, to slip stitch to join. This has now formed our heel.
we're now going to do the ankle. So chain one, and on this slipper, we're going to go around that very first uh, stitch from the round below. So all of these will be front post double crochet. So we're going to do five. So that's one. This is two. Three. So we're finding the end of each row. This is number four. And this will be number five. And then we have a corner stitch, which is like two stitches here. We're going to go around both on the corner. So pulling them together for one stitch. We're there going to, sorry, we're then going to do six double crochet along the top. Not that little chain one space, but that first double crochet. So six along the top. Again, we will have a corner stitch, so going around both of those on the corner. And then five more double crochet. So at the end of each of those rows. This here is number four. And on this slipper, we're going to go around that one there, which is five. And then now we're going to go around that center stitch that we made with the front post double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the very first one. You should have 19 stitches in each round. Repeat all the front post double crochet with 19 stitches in each round until you have the height that you would like for the ankle. Be sure to watch to the end to see how to put a little gripper on the bottom of these soles. Thank you for watching this detailed version of this video. I sure hope you've enjoyed it and I've answered all of your questions. We'll see you again soon. Bye!